Okay, in this video, I want to demo a slot machine um, that I worked on with my students. It's an internet-enabled slot machine. So basically what we did is we took uh, an ordinary slot machine that you can put quarters in. Basically, pull a handle, push buttons, then it works. Um, so this handle was not originally with the machine. Um, but now, it's that way you can pull a handle makes it spin. Version 2, it's going to automatically push the buttons for you. But really what we wanted to do was wire it up so that way if you take a look here, there's an Ethernet cable. Uh, it could be wireless. Unfortunately right now the internet uh, is giving me a little bit of problem so I just wired it in. Made a mobile app. Uh, so the mobile app is pretty simple. It just says pull a handle. If I push the button, it'll actually send a signal up to a web service. The slot machine consumes the web service and then will automatically go. So it is truly an internet enabled slot machine. So in class what we did is we talked about the internet of things. So close. And anyways, uh, what we did is made it so that way the slot machine has a Raspberry Pi wired into it. So it's just got a breadboard. Um, try to figure out what everything is. The coin drop mechanism definitely was the hardest part of the, of the project. Um, and then just getting it so that way, uh, this has got a web service um, that's gonna, it's actually consuming a web service, and then it's all wired inside. So within the class, uh, we just took a couple hours, couple couple, days of the week. And slowly picked it apart and, and tried to figure out how everything worked and what happens when you push which buttons. And it actually turned out pretty nice. So you can just basically push the button, hits the service, the slot machine detects that uh, the button's been pressed on the mobile application. So the first thing that the Raspberry Pi does is it simulates three quarters dropping in, and then it simulates the handle getting pressed. Waits a couple seconds, hits the first button, waits a couple seconds, hits the second button, waits a couple seconds, hits the third button. So kind of a cool little project. Anyways, uh, new Raspberry Pi thing.